in today's video. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Danny, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some Halloween trick-or-treat bags for those of you who will not be taking your kids trick-or-treating this year because of coronavirus. Before I get started, I just have to apologize for this rat's nest on the side of my head. This stringy thingy here. Because as you can see, my moms have joined me for this video. There's a story with that. Okay, so earlier today, it started thunderstorming like insanely, like raining cats and dogs. It was nuts. And my moms went flying. They went all over the yard. So I ran out there like a mad woman screaming, my moms, my moms. My moms, my moms. And I was grabbing them up and the kids were standing at the door screaming. And all I can think is thank goodness that that wasn't on video. It also happened to be just a minute before my husband got home from work, so I just looked like a wet mess. A mop. I looked like a mop. I need a cute mop. Just a mop. Today's video is part of a month-long collaboration with a group of girls that I am friends with here on YouTube. It is part of Momtober, which is when you post a video every weekday about mom life. Each day, one of us will be posting a video throughout the whole month of October, and then two of the girls in the group are actually posting a video every single day, every single weekday. You should definitely check them out along with all of the other mamas in this collab. So today's my day, and I am going to be sharing with you some Halloween treat bags. So my husband and I decided not to take our kids trick-or-treating this year because we don't wanna risk the unnecessary exposure to the coronavirus. And we will probably still put a bowl of candy out at our doorstep and just refill it depending on how many people in our neighborhood are actually trick-or-treating this year. With that said, we are still gonna make this Halloween very special. So I'm going to be creating these trick-or-treat bags for all three of my kids, which I'm going to just fill all of their treat bags with some treats that I have picked up for each of my kiddos. So all three of them have their own trick-or-treat bag. I got the boys bags from Pottery Barn Kids a couple years ago and I got Evie's this year. So I'm just gonna show you what I am putting into those treat bags and give you some ideas for your own family and what you could potentially do this year if you're also not feeling comfortable going trick-or-treating like us. So I have kind of two different categories. So my boys are four and almost six years old and my daughter is one and a half. We don't do a lot of candy in our house just overall and I, I'm not gonna give my one year old any candy. Basically I try and keep my kids off candy as long as possible so there's a lot of candies they haven't even tried yet I don't want them to know what they're missing yet they have their whole life for candy I'm gonna show you what I got for my boys and then what I got for my daughter and it's not necessarily a boy girl thing it's more an age thing so I hope this gives you some ideas I got each of them one of these shirts we're in upstate New York so it does get pretty cold up here everything I got for the boys is from Target by the way I got both of the boys these magic ink picture and sticker books I got them each a Frankenstein notebook these are called light up fright bands or just light up bracelets. I got both of the boys a pair of these Halloween socks. Light up glasses because why not? These light up wands. I get these for like every holiday in the Target dollar spot and the kids love them. And then they have this spider putty in coffins that I think the boys will also like. Also these Halloween play packs and these eyeballs are gonna go in each of the boys' bags. So that's all of the non-candy items that I got for the boys and now I'll show you the little bit of candy that I got them. They both love Aquaman, one for each. These small little candy bags, there's some chocolate eyeballs, ghosts, Frankenstein in here. This is like the bulk of their candy. This is what I like about this is that I can choose just how much candy they're getting and we always ration it anyway. So I got a Frankenstein and a vampire. Then I got a big pack of these organic gummy fruits. These ones come with some bats and vampire teeth, but the kids 
love gummies and whenever I can I try and buy the healthier version. Caramel apple lollipop, which I mostly got for myself. Okay, and now for what I got Everly. Um, I got this cute little monster on Amazon. I just love it. I didn't want to get her anything candy. This is so soft and it's purple. It's got these cute feet. I think it's an alien. It's either an alien or a monster. I got her this little Vampirina doll at the Hallmark store. This outfit at Target. So it's the shirt and the matching pants. And the last thing I got for Evie are these monster slippers. So the boys each have their own pair of monster slippers that they're obsessed with. They've had them for over a year. These are from Walmart. Um, these are Carter's, but I got them on Amazon. And I do like this high top version because then they stay on her little feet, just like the boys, they stay on their feet. going trick-or-treating this year I would love to know what your plans are let me know in the comments below if you're doing something like this with the trick-or-treat bags or if you have other plans so I want to share some ideas that you could do instead of going trick-or-treating there are some really fun ones but these are my favorites that I've kind of collected and that I might be doing with my own kids so the first idea is to do a Halloween candy taste test if you like candy and your kids are old enough to eat candy you would get all of the classics all of your favorites <laughs> And you could all do a little taste test and see which ones your kiddos like as well. You could totally wait to carve pumpkins on Halloween and do that with your family instead. Have a Halloween dance party. There is an awesome playlist on the Echo with all kinds of Halloween songs. We call ours Echo. Amazon Alexa. I'm sure the Google ones have that too. Monster Mash is a must. Bake Halloween cookies and frost them and make a huge mess in your kitchen because it's Halloween. Another idea is to do a candy hunt, kind of like an Easter egg hunt. So hide their baskets in your house or hide candy around the house and have them go find it. Have a party, whether it's just your family, like ours is a family of five, or have a virtual party. There's Zoom and Google Chat and FaceTime and you could do a virtual costume party with all of your friends or relatives and everyone could dress up and you could all have your own little shindig at home. Another idea. I'm sure you won't be surprised by this, is to decorate your house. That's what we did. So I have like three decorating videos before this where I've decorated pretty much every area of our main living space, my kitchen, dining room, living room, and front porch area. And you could decorate. Get in the spirit, make it fun, savor the season. I mean, we are all home right now, or a lot of us are still home. Why not make the most of it and just make it fun and enjoy it and enjoy this season of life with your family? Another idea on that note is to plan a big Halloween family dinner. There are so many cool ideas on Pinterest. A few of the ones that I saw were zombie meatloaf, which one of my friends actually shared. I'll link her video. Jack-o-lantern stuffed peppers. Orange peppers, cut a jack-o-lantern face, stuff them with whatever you like how clever graveyard veggie pizza pinterest that one it is so cool eyeball caprice salad what that's all for this video if you liked what you saw please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button thanks again and happy halloween everyone's making a video that has to do with some type of mom life topic so we're all moms and we all have kids that's understand what it, it says it's on me but it's on the flowers okay i mean i just wanted to focus on the shirts but this way they're not getting like a buttload of candy I'm trying to say buttload of candy. why